Okay, so check the description below for relevant videos, but uh, this video is all going to show you, or in this video I'm going to show you how to create a template file for a parametric plate. So yes, you can save as a parametric plate from another project, but this is better because you can make one from scratch and it's got all the parameters in there for you to change and it's user friendly for other people to use, so it encourages other people to use this. So they also learn about parametric modeling accidentally sometimes and it just makes everything easier and faster which is what we're trying to do here we want to be as efficient as possible so I'm gonna quickly show you how this thing works let's just say I want an M30 less and then I want I don't know 600 by 500 width there you go done and then you load that into your project that's much better and faster so you, you just can edit it straight from the project uh, but if I save this as or if I save it into a project and someone else wants to come and use it they have to come and find it or I have to come and find it or I have to have it saved somewhere and it can be quite long to find in a family folder depending on how your family folder system works and regardless, uh, every plate may be slightly different in, in some way. So it's better to have a, a template with everything preloaded, preset, so that you can edit it in the future. Or, or make a new one in the future without having to locate anything. You'll just have it in your family template area. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and just get started and show you how it's done. It's been two minutes now. Uh, to do it, we have to say file new and we open an existing template we're gonna save it as a template not a family but we're gonna open an existing template to do that first we have to do that first so I'm gonna say face based metric generic face based and all I'm gonna put in here is the parameters yes this is an actual family so we see the plate and things, but any bolt or plate that you leave in a template cannot be deleted. So make sure there is nothing in here. We're going to load them in and use them, but make sure they're deleted before you close and save. So uh, I'm going to hit this and type CS for create similar. And I'm just going to say 200 offset. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. Um, that one. Now I'll type di for dimension, outside, middle, outside, outside, middle, outside, and then hit equal. Same with this one. Type di for dimension here, 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 there, there, there. This is going to be your edge gap. So the gap from the edge to the first bolt. Select all of them and name it edge gap now type di for dimension there to there and there to there so I will name this width and I will name this height now I'll insert a standard bolt uh, UK Academy Custom Structural Connections uh, Bolt 2, I guess that oh crap, no Load Family Just say Bolt Now that's in here, so I can remove Bolt 2 But I'll bring the Bolt in, and it's got different sizes there Place on Work Plane now I'll play with the bolt, I'll give it a label parameter, call it bolt size oh crap, I spelled it wrong, doesn't matter um, you can spell it correctly on yours now we need to what's the other thing? ah, the number of bolts so I'll select it, type AR for array select it, select the array Add parameter, number of bolts, uh, 
um, and that's your parameters done. Now you don't need to worry about the bolts. So now we'll go to the front and we'll add some thicknesses. Type select this. Type CS. Create similar. 100. DI for dimension there to there. That one. We'll add one thick. Now I want. Ed, I want to reorder these. I like to order them height, width, thick, then edge gap. I want to make a new one called thick plate 2. And I'll copy that. Give it 100. And then call this one bolt. Bolt length. I've spelled that wrong. Um, and that one will go right to the bottom, and that one equals thick plus that one. And say OK. So, what I did there in that last one, this is going to be the length of your bolt so that it adapts to the thickness of the second plate which you've incorporated into this. Um, so, whatever this is attached to, the plate after that, you want the thickness of that. It might be the same, it might be different. Uh, I'll show you quickly what I mean. I'll put this bolt in here. Whoops. Ah, actually, there's one thing I want to do is I want to say uh, name this plate face so that it's easy to change. So if I change this host, I want to edit the work plane and I want to be able to pick plate face so it knows that it's going to be. Hmm. There you go. So it's on the plate face rather than on the thing, the base, the actual base of the model. Um, I believe that's it. The other thing you might want to do is you might want to, oh, you want to change this to structural connections cut with voids when loaded. I like to have that and have this as steel, acting as steel. And then, I mean, we just did that. And then I like to add a material parameter. So I haven't got any materials set up, but your company, your company should. To do that, make one of these, add a material parameter there. Let's call it material. And then just delete it. You must delete everything now. So come to 3D mode so that you don't delete anything important. That thing, what is that? That's the default one, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want anything other than the default standard loaded in objects. That just represents the face that your, your family is going to get attached to. Um, I believe that's it. Now we have the final process. Add in any other parameters that you need or you think you'll need. Um, I'm not creating a family, uh, sorry, a, a material like I said. Now you're going to hit. S if you go to File, Save As, it won't let you save as a template. So you have to save it as a family. Say I've got a special folder within my Revit folder of just my own template, so I'll just save it as it doesn't really matter what the name is. Then I go to that folder, and the way I make it a template file is by renaming its file uh, this dot thing dot RFA, change it to RFT. And I'll tell you why that's important because when I make a new one, if I use that. I can't use it because I, I can only use the one that's already in there. So if I, I have to close this one before I do anything. Oh wait, that's not the one. Um, but 
let me keep that open to il illustrate so if I want to create a new family I want to go to this folder so if I just change this to an RFT not an RFA yes there you go now I can use it as a template but like I said you can't delete anything that's already in a template so make sure you've done it properly because it's quite a process to save it again uh, to save it again you can't just go save as as I've said because of this process you'd have to delete the existing one and then rename this one to the existing one so you want to make sure everything's done before you continue that's it that's all you need to do for this it's really easy I mean what this has been what 10 minutes maybe two minutes of talking nonsense and now you've got the template done so um, remember to like and share this video if you like it, if it's good for you, if you think it's useful. Done.